Hello and welcome. I am JV with the Cyber and U team, and today we're going to go over how to use PowerShell in order to first initialize a disk and then using that initialized disk to create a partition and then format it. One of the reasons you would want to use PowerShell to do that is to one, familiarize yourself with PowerShell and the way commandlets interact with each other, and two, you may want to potentially script this process later on in your career or in your own hobby time honestly and the way to do that is by familiarizing yourself with the basics and we can go ahead and get started using that information and go down to the bottom left here and right click on our windows powershell and run as administrator and the first step in this process is to first figure out which disk we have and we do that by doing a get dash disk and this will show us which ones we currently have, which is zero and one. It'll always start off with zero. And it'll give you information about the friendly name, serial number. If this was a physical disk, it would give me a serial number. But since this is virtual, it will not. Um, and then the health status online, how big it is, and then the actual partition style. The one we're concerned with today is the number one, which is the partition style raw. So we want to change that from raw to either GPT or MBR. And the way we do that is by doing an initialize disk, specify the number, and it's this instance it'll be number one, and then the partition style, which will either be GPT or MBR. If you want to future proof it, you'll go with GPT. MBR has a limit of two terabytes and is generally used for legacy partitions. But if you want to future proof it, just go with GPT. You can actually read up on the GPT versus MBR online. If you want to Google it or potentially even uh, look at one of our blogs, you are free to do so. So we're going to go ahead and hit enter now, and that will actually turn this from raw into GPT and the way we can verify that is by doing a get dash disk and as you can see above it's raw and now it is displaying as GPT so the next step in this process is actually going to make this is going to is for us to turn this into a new partition and we do that by doing new dash partition specifying the actual disk number again which will be disk number one and then you can either do a assign drive letter and allow windows to just assign the drive letter themselves or you can say drive letter and specify yourself and I will do that and do it with Z and then you can specify the size that you want to use from that disk or you can just use maximum size and in this instance we're going to use maximum size just because I only have one gigabyte and with that that created our new partition and now the final step is for us to actually format that partition and turn it into a volume that is usable to us and to do that we just do a format dash volume and then to say which volume we want to format, we're going to use the drive letter. And we specified that as Z in the previous step. And then you actually have to specify the file system. Um, and as the PowerShell shows you here, you got XFAT, FAT, FAT32, NTFS, REFS. NTFS is the most popular one. So we're going to go with that and it is generally also the default file system and then if you wanted to you can also specify an actual uh, system label as well and to do that you we're going to do a dash new file system label and we're going to call it cyber test and then windows is going to go through its process of creating that and now you can see with the output itself we got a drive letter being z the file system label being cyber test and then specifies the file system being NTFS fixed healthy okay and then the actual size itself and now if you also want to verify that through the 
file explorer you can do that as well so we're going to go ahead and click on the file explorer and go to this pc and now you can see right here our z drive is called cyber test and we can create folders and anything else we want to do in that if we want to start using the gui instead and today we went over how to first initialize a disk and then create a partition out of that disk and then format that partition to our Z drive. And if you enjoyed today's video, please subscribe and we look forward to seeing you again.